Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to reformat your USB. I've already made a video about how to fix the USB if it's giving you issues or if it is uh, only showing up a terrible size limit. But a lot of you are using Windows 8 or you cannot reformat your USB for stable usage. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix that. So I went ahead and ruined my USB again. Uh, it is showing NTFS here as you can see. And I wanted to turn it to FAT32. Now, the difference between FAT32 and NTFS, real quick, is that N or FAT32 can only transfer up to four gigabyte file types, but it's more compatible or compatible with uh, multiple systems like Macs, uh, Linux, everything like that. And NTFS allows you to move files that are above four gigabytes. So if you have a 16 gigabyte um, Word document, you can transfer that only using NTFS. So I'm going to show you both ways here. Uh, basically, you only have to edit one command at the very end in order to change either which way. So let's get right into it. So first, I want you to click on the Start button at the very bottom left-hand side of your screen, and you're going to type in CMD at the bottom here and hit the Enter key. This command prompt will then pull up. I then want you to first type C-O-M-P-M-G-M-T-dot-M-S-C and then hit the Enter key. Uh, administrative prompt might come up. Go ahead and click Yes. It's fine. This will then pop up your computer management tool. I want you to locate to storage. Click that little arrow on the, the left there and point it down and then go to disk management. This will show all of your active drives inside of your computer. I want you to go down directly to removable and remember the number that is next to your disk. This is very pertinent to remember because you can end up wiping another operating system if you have multiple hard drives inside of your computer. So this is going to be disk two for me. So now that we got that, First one I'm going to type here is disk part, D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T, and hit the enter key. Administrative prompt will probably come up again. It's fine. Just click yes. Now a separate subcommand line with disk part as the first section will come up. In here, first what I want you to type is list disk. This will, oop, list, I can type, there we go. And this will show all of your active disks in here. Uh, again, it's disk number two for me. If you don't know, go back to computer management and see the number next to removable. So it's gonna be disk two. Now the following command from here is going to be, and I'll go ahead and put the computer management tool right in the background there so you can see what happens, is I'm gonna go type in select disk two. Now the disk is selected. From here, we're going to type clean. Hit the enter key. Now as you can see down here under removable, the entire disk went completely white. It's completely wiped. It's not even like a raw format. It's just wiped right now. There's no you can't put anything on it. So stay stay tuned here because you really need to fix this. Now what you want to do from here is then type create partition primary. You can look over that if you didn't hear me and then enter. Now as you can see, a nice little Partition was created here. However, it's in the raw format. We cannot do anything with it. So what I'm going to type next then in the command prompt line here is active. Hit enter. Now this part has marked the current partition as active. Now what we want to do finally is type format fs equals space fat32. Or here you can type NTFS. Now this is the this part right here is the part that you can change. So if you want to change it to NTFS, it's fine. Just change FAT32 to NTFS. If you want FAT32, just type that and then hit the enter key. Now this is probably going to take, for me, it can take up to 10 minutes, but it's going to completely format the USB from here. As you can see in your computer management tool, you can see it formatting. You don't have to leave this uh, command prompt line up. You can close out of it. However, don't remove your USB and let this finish off here. So again, it can take a little while, but thank you for watching. I hope this helps you out. You have a great day.